Hello friends, this is Apurva the Book Hunter and I'm back today with another video. I'm sorry I'm not reading any new books because of my upcoming exams, but I'll talk about a book I read earlier this year. This is a collection of short stories called Seven Japanese Tales by Junichiro Tanizaki. So talking about short stories, I read a lot of short stories in my late high school and my early college years. I read Chekhov, Mapasa, Saki, O. Henry, Dostoevsky, a few more. I like them, but then there was laps during which I read only a few novels, not many short stories. But earlier this year, I read short stories by Manto. Then I read this collection of short stories, and I was really amazed by this collection of short stories, and it was beyond my expectation. So, talking about Junichiro Tanijaki, he is one of the most famous writers, critically acclaimed, popular writer in Japan during the late 19th century. A fact is that if you um, think about Japan and literature, the only names that pop in your mind right now would be like Haruki Murakami, Ryu Murakami, Kigo Higashino. But the thing is that there are so many brilliant writers in Japan. I mean, they were in Japan. Like, there were two Nobel laureates, Kenzaburo and Yasunari Kawata. Then there was like Natsume Soseki, Osamu Dazai, uh, Rinsuke Akutagawa, and okay. Uh, Junichiro Tanijaki, of course. So these are the one of the famous, you know, like most of the famous writers of um, Japanese literature. And uh, after reading this book, I have to say that I'm really, really impressed. So this book is uh, a collection of seven short stories, which are not really, you know, some of them are not just short stories. They're as long, almost a novella, but not really. So they range from a few pages to like, I don't know, 30 pages, something like that. So... Um, the seven stories that are in there are The Tale of Shunkin, The Tattooer, The Thief, The Bridge of Dreams, Aguri, and The Terror, and A Blind Man's Tale, of course. So, um, let me tell you a little bit about the plots of these stories. I will tell you the plot of A Bridge of Dreams later because that is the most favorite short story among this collection for me. Um, the Tale of Shunkin is about a blind musician and her lover and the kind of, you know, how she grew up and how fate took, like, you know, uh, horrible, unfortunate turns for both of them. And you really have to read it, uh, otherwise you won't be able to understand it from the plot. And I don't want to disclose a lot because short stories, I don't want to give spoilers. So the tattooer is about this obsessed tattooer who wants to create the perfect tattoo on some woman's perfect skin and he wants to go any length for that. Yeah, maybe kidnapping. <laughs> so about the thief, it's about a dormitory where the protagonist is accused of stealing others' um, objects but uh, his friends are supporting him but his, his activities are kind of suspicious. Yeah. The terror is about a neurotic man, neurotic young man, um, who's afraid of all kinds of sh sounds, you know, getting into carriages and electric cars, uh, e pretty much everything. So he's having a hard time. Then we have a blind man's tale about a servant, a blind masseuse, a blind servant, and the lady he served, um, the life events during, through which she went through her marriage, the warring state, you know, of Japan. The warring, it was kind of the warring period of Japan when the states were constantly at war with, she, with each other and how it affected her life and the lives of her daughter. So it's about that. Then we have, uh, I missed something. A uh, bridge of dreams I'll tell you later. Then we have Aguri. So Aguri is about this uh, sickly young man. Like he's full of delusions and hallucinations and he has a particularly beautiful gold digger mistress. Um, but and he, he visualizes her like a, you know a blood sucking creature, not a blood sucking creature, but you know someone someone sucking the life force out of him. It's kind of weird. It's one of the most fake stories I've ever read, fake short story, and I cannot say I liked it too much. It was too vague for a short story even. So um, now talking about how I felt after reading these stories, these stories are phenomenal. They're absolutely beautiful. They're perfect. They're complete. They're excellent the craft is unmistakably a genius i mean it's beautiful it's absolutely wonderful i mean also they're unhealthy and disturbing all these short stories most of these sh short stories will leave you disturbed and unsettled i mean you haven't read 
stories like that from any other author there is like a very little violence in it but whatever is in it will leave you shaken if you really want to read some short stories that will move you then this is your choice i kept the bridge of dreams for the last because i really wanted to talk a little bit about the plot it is one of the best short stories i've ever read in fact it is one of the best short stories for me the best short story ever written so uh, the plot is something like this so we follow the protagonist tadasu uh, when he was an infant his uh, mother died and his father was so like hung over on her death that he married a beautiful young woman who resembled somehow tadasu's mother and then ta she the that uh, stepmother and uh, Her, his father they attempted to replace kind of replace his memories of his original biological mother with the mother that he now has so from the beginning it is so disturbing you you understand that okay this is unhealthy this is psychologically very very unhealthy for the kid and you want to say that and it is and as the story progresses and as he grows up and the you know Uh, the events that take place in the bridge of dreams that is the name of the state in which he lives in you want to you in the natural beauty around his estate really you know is revealed slowly along with the kind of dark gloomy events that are taking place internally and externally in that estate so it's an absolutely masterpiece just beautiful but the point you know it, it has multiple layers like A layer over a layer over a layer and slowly this is revealed and in the end there's like a shocking shocking ending if if you really got it <laughs> and the thing is that there's like a grim unhealthy undertone going through all these layers which um, you understand once you go to the you know get to the ending so it's one of the best short stories according to me This book is available on Amazon so if you want to buy this book go ahead and buy it because you will never read short stories like this from any other persons after reading a few japanese uh, novels and short stories i feel like the japanese have the japanese authors have this uh, style of like subtle uh, subtle style of storytelling in which the emotions are not like manifest as in russian writers they are ever so subtle with hints and clues that you really have to work hard to understand so kind of taxing on your mind but then again they're so beautiful poignant and rich i have to say that they are absolutely favorite my absolutely favorite of all time i would highly recommend this book to anybody and you know even casual readers can read it because they are quite intriguing and hook you from the start so um So um I guess um uh, this is the end for this video. Uh this is Opur the Book Hunter signing out. See you next time with another video. Please like, share and comment.